Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I am going to be doing an updated what's in my purse video. I have been meaning to do one of these for a while and then today I actually got a new bag so I was like I'm definitely going to do one now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So this is the bag that I got and it's from the brand Harper and I got it at Francesca's and it was actually on sale. It was supposed to be $45.00. And I got it for $20. Um, and I really, really like it. It's black, which obviously goes with everything. And then it has some nude pieces, um, nude handle, and then this nude strip in the front. And then a nude strap. The hardware on the bag is gold, which I really like because basically all of my jewelry is gold. Um, the strap here is adjustable and also uh, removable which is really nice and I really like this as a crossbody bag that's why I got it I love crossbody bags I like to just be able to put them over my shoulder and go um, but I found that this bag it's really cute as a crossbody but it's also I really like it you know just over my shoulder I think that's really cute as well and then of course just to carry it in the crook of your arm is nice also um, so I, I really like how the uh, hardware looks on this bag I like the way that the clasps clasps look and I also like this piece right here because it's actually like a little ring so you can like spin it and stuff um so there's no outer pocket on the bag but you open it and it has two of the magnetic snaps right there and then you just open it and then there is a zip closure so I like that it has the magnetic clasp clasp I can't talk today clasps and uh, also the um, zip closure as well. Um, and I, one thing that I really like about this bag, this is the bag that I was carrying, which is what I was going to do. Oh, what's my purse with? Which is from Steve Madden. And I like this bag. Um, I mean, like, it's not ugly. I think it's cute and stuff. But um, I've just been carrying it for a while. And it is, it's just, like, flimsy, you know? Whereas this one is super structured um it can't really stand up on its own but um it is very structured and i really like that about the bag so i'm just uh going to start grabbing stuff but also the interior is like a black and white stripe there is one zip closure pocket there with the logo and then there are two pockets here and then the rest is just the bag so I'm just going to start grabbing. Okay, so first I have a receipt that is actually for the bag. So it was $19.98 uh, and so with tax I paid $21.33. Um, the only thing is that it was a final sale, which is fine. I just made sure that I picked out a good bag. Um, okay, I have my phone. This is just the iPhone 4 um, and the case on it is from Spec and it's just like a little hot pink case that I like. Ignore my nails. They're terrible. Oh, they're so gross. I have headphones. Um, I take a business management class, so I like to keep headphones because if we're not doing anything important, or even if I'm like typing a project up, uh, up in that class, then I'll just turn on Pandora or listen to the music on my phone. Um, and so I keep my little earbuds in here, even though they're always really, really tangled. <laughs> Um, okay, then I have sunglasses, and these are actually new, too. I got them at, also at Francesca's. So, these were, I think, $14, and they look like this. And I really, really like uh, the style of them. Um, and so, they're basically just black, and they have this, like, silver detailing. I wasn't crazy about this part, and I kind of get stuck in my hair sometimes if I, you know, put them on top of my head. But I really liked the style of the sunglasses, so I got them. It was, I mean, I guess the silver is cute. I mean, you know, mix and metals, whatever. Um, so I really, really like those a lot. And then I have the Soap and Glory Hand Food Hand Cream, just the little small one. This smells really, really good. Um, then I have the Bath and Body Works Sweet Clementine uh, Germex. Then I also have the L'Occitane... Um, dry skin hand cream and this is just the original shea butter scent in the small one as well I love this stuff 
Then I have some Carmex. This stuff is really, really good. I really like that. Then I also have some peppermint chapstick, which I also love. As you can see, I like to keep doubles. Two moisturizers, two chapsticks. <laughs> um, okay, then I have these little things, which are from the brand Gum. And they're in this little case. And these are just so that I can, like, clean out my braces. And then I also have a pack of gum. This is my favorite extra spearmint. It's basically, like, the only gum I'll chew. Um, then I have a Sharpie for whenever people want me to sign their autographs, which is never, but you know, it's always good to have a Sharpie. I have a sample of Daisy Oh So Fresh Perfume, which I actually have the full bottle of, so I don't know why I have a sample. Actually, I think I do, I think I put this in here when I went to someone's house once and I like refilled it with my big bottle. I don't, I don't really know. That's just my guess. And we have the little, um, what is this? Like the sanitization pack or I don't know the freshness pack or something that didn't even make it in my garbage can it's right there that was really sad uh, apparently I haven't taken that out yet oh wait wait there's another one. Oh, that one went in okay and then I have some floss um, which you gotta keep in here when your mom works at a dentist office because she would not approve if I didn't have it in here okay then I have this little small Altoids container that I actually keep bobby pins in because people always ask me for bobby pins or I need them or something. So I just keep them in here because they fit perfectly. And I think it's, I think it's cute. <laughs> um, then I have my other pair of sunglasses that I was using before I bought these today. Which these I just got at a beach store uh, in North Carolina actually when I was at the beach. And they were like $10. And I like these a lot. I love the color pink so I really like those. But sometimes when I'm wearing, like, a really, like, I don't know, dressier, like, outfit and I'm going out for the day, I don't want to wear, like, bright pink sunglasses. So, that's why I really like these because I feel like, I don't I just really like them. I keep putting them on. Um, so, I have that. And then I have a mini hairbrush because I think that this is just really important to keep in your bag because, you know, especially if you're out somewhere shopping and it's windy then your hair is everywhere. It's, I think it's very important to keep that in your bag. Then I have my wallet, which is actually, it was actually a gift from a friend and it's from the brand Treviso. And so it has this pocket here and then also the pocket in the back. So in my wallet, I have my permit picture, which you are not allowed to see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me remove it. Okay. I think you can pretty much see everything else. So this is a Saks Fifth Avenue card, um, Ulta card, and then in here, in this little pouch, I have movie tickets to Insidious and two different showings of Catching Fire, and then I have my YMCA uh, card if I want to go to a different Y than I normally go to. It's like my guest card, and then I have my sticker from when I gave blood at school uh, the other day, so I have that. And then on the other side, I have a Starbucks gift card that has no money on it. And then my Beta Club membership card. For those of you who don't know what Beta Club is, it's like a national club. So you might have it at your school too. Um, and it is basically a club for kids who have a GPA of like a certain amount. I don't know if it's different for every school. At my school, it's a 3.75 or higher. Um, so yeah, I feel pretty simple like good about myself that I'm in the beta club it makes me feel smart um then on this side and this side I have uh this is like more beta club information and then I have a sticker from when I went to mystery hill which is in the mountains of North Carolina it's like um I don't know it's like this house on this hill it's, it's a mystery in this pocket I have an insurance card um, another Francesca's receipt. This one's for my sunglasses because I bought them at two different times today. Uh, and that, the same cashier was there. I was like, I'm back. Um, I have a Delishy frozen yogurt card. I love Delishy. I actually have three Delishy frozen yogurt cards. And I need to get them all combined into one because whenever I go, I always forget to bring my card. And so they just start new ones. But they say I can combine them. So I need to, I need to do that. I have almost enough to get free yogurt which is good and then I have my business cards here 
and I have some change not very much but I do have some so that's everything in that wallet well, that's my only wallet but that's everything in there then I have my makeup bag which is from Kate Spade I'm not sure like the style name of it I got it at the outlet and it just looks like this and it's polka dotted and then it has like the hot pink like neon pink lining and I really like this because it's covered in like that material to where if you get something on it you can just wipe it off so in my makeup bag I have a Sephora mirror um, my MAC Studio Fix powder and then I have my Tarte is Escape Lip Surgeons and this Revlon lip gloss in Sugar Violet because um, I really like that combination that's what I was wearing today I never really keep anything in my makeup bag other than like the lip product I'm wearing today that day and a powder because I just find it unnecessary to keep anything else okay and the last thing that's in my bag are my keys so on my keys I have this Michael Kors keychain and it's just this little MK and then this tassel um, I have my PO box key um, and if you guys ever want to send me mail my PO box information is always in the down bar I have this paracord lanyard that my dad made me um, and the pink part was actually a bracelet that was kind of small for me, so he just made it into a lanyard that looks like DNA. Um, I have the car key, and I have this other lanyard that I got at Myrtle Beach, and it's just like black and white polka dots. I have my house key, and then I have this thing. I'll take it off here so you can see what it is, and it, I got it at the coach outlet, and it's just this lanyard um, thing and this was supposed to be I think $70 and I think I only ended up paying $15 for it and it just looks like this they have other you know colors and stuff as well um, and uh, let me take out my card so I can actually show you so in here I have my license my Sephora VIB card my Starbucks card that I use um, and then my debit card so this is basically what it looks like and I really like this because you can put your ID and your cards in here and then it also has two pockets on the back that you can put cash and other stuff in. Um, and obviously I hook my keys onto it. So a lot of times um, when I am just running into a store really fast, or even if I'm going shopping in the mall, if I don't feel like carrying my bag, I just um, take this and wear it around my neck. I find it to be really easy. Um, all of my friends have these as well. And we all just like wear them around our neck when we go shopping because it's just so much easier than having to carry a bag and stuff and you have all the money that you need right here especially if you're just paying with like a card or something you know obviously you're not going to need to carry a bunch of cash and that's one thing like if you put too much money or something in here or like if you have like a lot of ones uh it can kind of get hard to take out and sometimes you have to take out your card so you can get your money um but i really really like this i'm so glad that i got it and mine's obviously like a snake skin sort of pattern um, but I love this thing. I highly recommend that you, uh, check this out. But I would not pay $70 for this, so if you can't find it at the outlet, I wouldn't buy it. Um, but I'm sure you can find other ones from other companies, too. Um, but yeah, now my bag is empty, so you can see here, it's pretty big. And, but it's not, like, too big, and I just really, really like it. Um, and even without all the stuff in it, whereas the other bag was really floppy, this one is still really, really structured which I really, really like. Um, so yeah, that is everything that's in my bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.